All right, so we're back with the only game where you can look into engineering a dinosaur and get the Danny DeVito of the Tyrannosaurus Rex world, its species. In the last episode, someone had asked, hey, Gray, could you engineer a shark? Someone else had asked, hey, Gray, what happens if you put a bunch of creatures in water and slowly take all the water away? How will they evolve? Those things kind of go hand in hand. So we're gonna do it, damn it. All right, so first thing first, we gotta drown everyone. So we'll see if everyone somehow manages to stay alive. I think in the beginning, they can handle both water and air, but uh, if not, then this is gonna be a really quick test. Okay, everyone is now officially underwater. All right, I killed everyone, new plan. Okay, so same thing, except this time the creatures are intentionally aquatic. I don't think I've ever killed an entire species so quickly in all of my life. So there was a slight little issue that I had not thought about that makes keeping these things alive a little bit annoying. And that's that they can't dive very far. So if you make the entire area a deep water world, they all die because they can't get any food. So we've got a couple of beaches around just to make this a little bit more fair to these creatures. First things first though. It's time to manipulate some freaking genetics. So in order to make a shark, that actually kind of looks like a leopard shark, like that skin tone. I think we'll keep that. I know there's a friggin' shark head around here somewhere. Like, not like the derpy shark head, but like a legitimate shark head. Perfect. It doesn't, it doesn't look very threatening with the body it has, but we'll, we'll fix that in a second. Oh, hell yes. Look at that, we got some shark eyes now. Um, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to get the fins going, but whatever. This is, uh, this is turning out fantastic. I don't really know if there's a way to get a dorsal fin, but damn it, that's fine looking shark right there. A little bit of a name here like this. There we go. All right, look at these, look at these sad, well, they're not really potatoes. Now they kind of look like really, really underfed eggplants, but look at how sad and depressed they are. These things don't look like warriors, they look like crap. And so our job is to splice their genes with delicious power. Get in there, my children. Make make me friggin' proud. Wow. I'm pretty impressed. Look at this. The please make Grey stop a or whatever the hell it is. They've got like four and five and six eyes now. This poor guy doesn't even have any fins anymore. He just has to pelvically thrust his way through the water. But uh, you know what? I mean, for the most part, they're looking all right. That's interesting that they just sleep on their side like that. I don't know if that's that's accurate to the way that sharks sleep. I I know that shark don't sharks sleep in motion. I don't think that they just lay on their side and call it a day. Yes. My son, derp your way around. Eat the coral. The coral is technically a living creature, so it's still carnivory. I, there's, we'll call it meat, I get, because technically the kelp is, actually all plants are living creatures. You know what I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a meaty creature, so we'll pretend it is, because I'm pretty sure this guy is 100% carnivore. Man, this dude eats forever. Oh, that's why, it just got big as hell. Legit, this thing never stops eating. It's like the Megalodon of, of the water air. Actually, it's really big. Like, I had no idea it would get this big. It, I did increase the size quite a bit, but it just, it look at it. It just never stops eating. It just eats forever. At this point, it's time to uh, take a little look-see at how the potatoes have evolved. This is inter- Okay, that's not what I wanted to look at. This is interesting. A few of them have uh, some of the stuff, but a few of them just have like a shock collar around their neck. I'm really not sure what happened here. And then right here is the weird midsection, like right in between shark and pathetic thing. Oh, it just gave birth to another little baby satosaurus over here. Look at it run. Every- I think it just ate one of its brethren. In fact, I'm pretty- yep. Oh, it is eating everyone. Oh, they're going freaking ballistic over here. We've made some real carnivores this time. They're just eating the hell out of everyone. And man, they are spawning all over the place. This is freaking awesome. I can't wait to slowly torture everyone. Look at this group of creatures over here. Bam! Got wrecked by our shark things. Our horny, horny sharks. They've got horns now on their heads. Look at how, look at how lovely they are as they swim together in harmony, father and son, both starving, maybe dying a little bit. They probably, I should probably, oh, there goes the son. The son just died. Now the dad's probably pissed. He's gonna take, he's gonna take his anger out on one of the other creatures. Yep. Just took his anguish out on this guy. Got blasted. He's dead. What is, what are you doing? Are you, are they trying to develop lungs? Oh my God, I think they're trying to do it on their own without my help. 
They're slowly, look, they're coming off the land. But can they survive? Well, this is something you don't see every day. Uh, it's not having a good day. Definitely not having a good day. Somehow, yeah, it needs oxygen. It came out of the water and it was very stupid to do so. And now it's going to die. It's suffocating. It tried to survive on land. It didn't work so well. This guy is doing the exact same thing, but he's like partially still in water. So he's all right, man. Everyone wants to come off of the, out of the water. What is going on over here? We guys killed everything. And now you want to search for something else. These are actually the most violent creatures we've ever made. Like they get pissed off at everyone. If anything else gets in their way, it's like immediately slain. Like, I don't know how this creature is going to feel because it's totally possible that it's going to get blasted by this dude over here. I'm not really sure what happened over here. Oh, they're super hungry and they just blasted each other. Huh? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. They come in, they eat, and then they leave. It's just, it's kind of strange that the carnivores all stay on this side of the map and they just, they only eat when they need it. And the herbivores stay on this side of the map. And every once in a while, the carnivores swim over. They get, a, they get a bite of that ass and then they run on out. Are you going for coral or are you going for a creature? It kind of looks like he's going for coral because that's, I th yeah, I think he's going, I think he's going to go beat up on the coral for a while. Mmm, sweet, delicious coral. Never mind. Now he's actively hunting something. Like the jaws of old. His freakish flippers that are completely non equidistant and stuff from one another are locking him onto this creature. Who will win in a fight for dominance? I have a feeling that this guy's gonna get blasted. It's just me because, you know, this guy has giant, yep, one bite, his dude, that dude is gone. All right. So our freakish sharks uh, turned out pretty well. They're doing well over here. The, uh, the little sea cow creatures, little sea potatoes are doing just fine over here. So now I guess the question is, I'll let them maybe evolve for a couple more generations. And uh, then we're gonna start taking all the water away. I think that everyone is going to basically immediately die. So maybe I'll take the water away a little bit slowly. There's something I wanna do real quick. I wanna get one of these but I want to make it enormous. All right. Yeah, they're too big. They pop up. See right here? They pop up for just a second. And then usually they immediately combust in on themselves because it takes too much energy to keep them alive. Okay. At this point, everyone appears to be doing pretty good. Let's start seeing what happens when we take the water away. Okay, so I've started to reduce the water fertility and I started to increase the land fertility. There's a bunch of creatures that have like started to grow legs and stuff. Like some of the, some of it just looks like enormous stomachs, like they're grossly obese or something. But there is a few of our, uh, our little uh, non-carnivorous pickle cows that have developed legs. Here we go. Look at this. He's walking. They're starting to develop legs. A few of the carnivores are still over here, like living with these creatures, just like dining on them when they need it. Man, quite a few of the cows have legs now. Look at them. They're all starting to develop cows they're coming out on land completely the sharks are uh not really developing as quickly uh they don't appear to come on land very much and when they do they insta die so taking a look at what we have so far this guy doesn't know if he wants his eyes to be on the top or the bottom of his head but it still looks pretty cool oh ready that's the just, he uses his throat in order to balance the rest of his body oh it's just like the other one only it's got a slightly bigger ass that's our shark only it's like a giraffe shark it's got a really long neck this is more like a cartoon shark it very much has like a like a barney style of i think it's supposed to be a hammerhead maybe i'm really not sure oh god this thing is just destined for failure i don't know what it is but i can't imagine it living very long look at this the sharks have begun to develop levitating fists. They're not actually part of the- <laughs> Well, every shark has fists now. They don't just like to bite creatures. They like to punch them to death. They're also losing their teeth. Oh my God. All of their teeth have fallen out. They're like the denture wearing sharks now. Man, you take away a little water. 
and all the sharks lose their bite. This shark over here has like four fists. He's starting to develop vestigial limbs over here on the backside too. All right. Enough time has gone by. We've allowed them quite some time to continue to evolve. So now it's time to bring the water down even more. Eventually we're gonna get rid of all of it. Okay, they are trying desperately to survive, but a lot of them are really starting to come up on land a lot more now. Like a lot. Yeah, you can see a whole pack of them just came up on land. They're all gonna die from it, but someone's gotta fall on the sword so the rest of the species can evolve. Children, men, women, sharks. I don't know how to really categorize these. Many of them come up on land hoping that they'll learn the ways of oxygen up here, but it's not so easy. Go, Toothless Shark family. I believe in you. Come to the shore. Learn how to evolve. They're coming on the shore. I don't know if they're gonna last too long. Actually, let's take a look real quick at the stats. They've become herbivores, but the respiratory system is still totally killed. So creature-wise, oh, that is kind of Barney-ish. This is where we're at so far. Some of the shark prowess is still there. I don't know why this guy has like double soul patches under his chin. The herbivore cow pickle things have really started to develop some limbs now. Now all, this, all the species appear to be uh, prospering. That must mean that life isn't hard enough for everyone. Okay. At this point, there's very little food left in the water. Uh, conversely though, there is a ton of food on land and there's not much water left for these creatures to live in. They're still sticking to it as long as they can, but eventually I'm gonna remove all the water completely. Don't worry, little guys. This isn't torture, it's gameplay. Oh man, we had them down to 50, but they're starting to fight back. I think that means that evolution is starting to kick in. They're getting into the 60s and 70s now, and 80s. Oh, you guys just don't want to die, do you? You're so cute. Someone had asked, hey, Gray, why don't you make a creature that's a, a thing out of nightmares? And someone else had mentioned that I do that at least one per episode. Would you want a plushie of this? Would you want to hug this thing? Wow, they managed to breed their way up to 120 there for a little bit. If they do that again, I I'll clearly know that life isn't hard enough and will continue to bring the water down. I'm waiting for it to get to about 200. Look at these guys having parties coming up on land forming little shark herds like it ain't no big thing ain't no thing huh maybe you need less water then man y'all are just a pain in the ass aren't you all right i'll take more of your water away if i have to a lot of them are starting to venture on land now like a lot they're all like immediately dying once they get on land but i think this is what they need to begin to develop lungs. There's a couple of small ponds now, but for the most part, there's no place left for these creatures to go. They either need to start getting on land or they're gonna get pushed off the friggin' map. Man, these guys over here got the colorful friggin' jeans. Look at this bright electric ass blue. All right, I can't lower the water anymore, so I'm gonna kill all the plants effectively. There's almost nothing left for the fertility. They're gonna have to either leave or starve. That's it. I'm killing everything in the water completely. I got rid of all the fertility. Now it's just rocky sadness. In desperation, everyone starts coming to land in order to look for grass and food. But somehow the population continues to stabilize? I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh my God. This is what has evolved in order to learn to breathe air. It has like a 13 foot long neck that it can stick out of the water. This is incredible. Okay, the gill amount's going down. We're getting it down to 0.5. That's not too bad. Remember, we started at one, so it's taking a long ass time, but we're kind of slowly starting to dip there depending on the species. All right, so what I'm starting to do, because I can't keep these creatures from trying to eat the, the few plants that are left here, I'm creating temperature devices that makes living out here in the water completely impossible by freezing everything to death. It has finally begun. What once were sharks, have now developed little legs. They, they legitimately kind of walk around. You'll see them, well, these ones are just like doing the worm on land. But a few of them use their legs appropriately and kind of run around into the forest. The respiratory system is almost there. They could just barely breathe the air, I think. Oh, they're all starting to come off. They're starting to come on land. I mean, there's still, a lot of them are still dying, but like a bunch of them are starting to live. We did it. 
This is the first generation of fully oxygen breathing creatures. They've come up. It's an omnivore too. I'm kind of surprised. I, I, they were, look like they were going full herbalism, but they finally come up and they are sharks have begun to live on land. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is what it would look like if a bunch of sharks finally evolved to the point where they could walk on land and uh, start derping around. There's still quite a few that decided to live in the water, like continue to live in the water. But finally, after I don't even know how many generations, we have our creatures completely living on land, moving in odd schools of shark herds over here. Hey folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Species. This is actually a really good idea. I'm surprised at how well it went and how odd the final result looks. If you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.